Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna realize a seafood starter inspired to prom cocktail. First of all, we're gonna start to work on our pastry. The mix is very simple. We're gonna use only butter, flour, one egg, pinch of salt, and a little bit of water just for help make the dough. So for our pastry, this is our ingredient, 125 gram of butter. So very cold butter, just that is small, and then chill again. 200 gram of flour and a pinch of salt, one egg yolk. Now, if you have a food processor, you can just combine all the in the food processor. I'm just gonna use it by hand, making it in a bowl. So it's important you use like tip of your finger, just crumbling the butter with the flour. As you can see now, our dough is ready. It's nice and firm. So now we're just gonna wrap it up in cream wrap, place in the fridge, let it rest for at least half an hour and we proceed with the preparation of the other seafood. So another ingredient that I bought at the fish market are these beautiful tiger prawns. So I'm just gonna peel the body. Keep a little bit of the tail and the tricks to take out the intestine without cutting or doing incision is to hold it upside down, hold the head, slightly squeeze it, and everything will come out. So our prawns are ready clean and our pastry our short, crust, short crust it's ready rested so I'm gonna pop the prawns in the fridge and I'm gonna show you how to mold the pastry. Here yeah, I place the short crust pastry our dough in between Two layers of baking paper, roll it thin equally, turning around so you don't have like you have a square oval surface. Don't worry about the shape, you can re roll the leftover, we have the rest of the mix. Make sure it's nice and even. You can leave it spread on the same thickness. So now our, our pastry is ready. So our pastry is nice and cut. We're gonna place in the oven for 40 minutes and then we're gonna uh, cut directly in like four crackers. As you can see our pastry been inside the oven for only 10 minutes. It's still white, it's still under, but now is the better way. To cut it, there is a nice precise cut. I'm gonna finish the bacon now for another 10 minutes. For our prawns, I just wanna keep a nice natural flavor. So I want to grill them. Very nice grill, hot grill. Just gonna place them all. I already dressed them with salt and a little bit of olive oil. Nice and hot grill, don't touch it, they don't take long. My clothes are, pro are ready. Just gonna put in a plate, do them best. Just a couple of minutes. And at the same time, we can start to plating. So for the sauce for our prince dish, one cracker, um, 
I'm gonna make like a kind of um, Asian inspired version of the Mary Rose. So I'm gonna use Japanese mayo. I'm gonna balance the acidity, not using ketchup, but with rice vinegar, a little bit of mirin, and our spice in it, so Tabasco is gonna be from wasabi. So it's not gonna be pink, it's gonna be more whitish. So a little bit of mayo. A point of wasabi. Half teaspoon of rice vinegar. And half teaspoon of mirin. Now just mix together. So now let's proceed for the final touch for our prawns crackers. We got some hydroponic lettuce, some radish, and some avocado. It's gonna wash the lettuce. Thin slice some radish, put the nice and water, and just slice some avocado too. So now all our ingredients are ready. So we got our crackers, our pastry, we got our prawns, got avocado, we got our Asian inspired sauce, radish, we got the lettuce, and we got some sprouts. Let's go assembling. So this is my seafood platter and pastry creation from meal foil. Hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. So this was my uh, prawns dish, my seafood dish uh, for our set menu for the skill assessment. And. Try to make it home. If you have any question, just follow my Instagram profile. Follow Kitchen Quarantine, no more in quarantine. And thanks for watching again. Have a good day.